My printer is messing up again. You can see the wheels over here. This is a bunch of wheels. The wheels on the left side have these strands going around uh, where the print head was a little too high so it didn't stick to the wheel below it. And over here there is no uh, strands going across and that's because the print, uh, the x-axis was tilted like that, up on the left side and down on the right side. And I think it's because of this, this side over here sticking and not going down. I'm, I would say that I think it's because of the motor, but I just replaced this. This is a brand new motor that was shipped to me by Prusa after I had pretty much the same problem and I took this motor and I swapped it out with uh, my second printer and the problem of sticking went to the other printer and then this printer worked fine. So now that I'm having this same problem, I think, again, uh, where the axis ends up tilted, I'm not sure what to think. Um, so I'm going to investigate that now and try and figure out why the left side is doing that, leaving these strings behind. At this point, I think it is this motor locking up, and this is the brand new motor that Prusa Research sent to me to replace the other one, so that makes me think that maybe somehow this setup is causing the motor to fail somehow. I'm not sure how that could happen, but it sure does seem like right now I'm gripping and I'm trying to twist so that the left side of the x-axis goes down and it's not moving at all. If I move the other way, I can get it to move, and now it goes up and down. And if I go on the right-hand side, I can go up and down pretty easily. Up, down, up, down, up, down. So... I don't know. It seems like this motor locked up also. I'm not sure what to do at this point. Summary of what has happened with this printer so far. I built it, it printed for a while, and then it stopped printing, and I identified this motor as the problem. I, well, the motor that was here, the motor, the left Z motor. I identified it as the problem by switching, well, I found that when I raised the x-axis all the way to the top for calibration on its way down, I heard it clicking, and I noticed that by the time it got to the bottom, the left-hand side was of the x-axis was much higher than the right-hand side, which made me think that this side skipped steps on the way down. Uh, and then I was grabbed it and twisted, and I found that I could... Uh, this was on the previous motor that was on the left-hand side. I found that I could easily twist uh, to raise the x-axis, but lowering the x-axis wouldn't go... Uh, wouldn't, wouldn't work. I then swapped this left, the left Z motor from this machine to the other machine, and the problem went over there. I also took the motor out of the other machine, uh, uh, the left Z motor out of the other machine, and put it into this machine, and this machine worked fine while, I, while it had that motor in it. So that made me really sure that when that the problem was the left Z motor. I got a replacement left Z motor shipped to me. That's this motor here. And I put it in this machine, replacing the broken left Z motor. And now I'm getting the exact same problem. The only thing I can think of at this point is... Maybe I accidentally put back in the exact same Z-axis left Z motor. Um, 
and I only thought I swapped it out. Uh, maybe there was a mix up there. Uh, I that seems really unlikely, but I'll know because on on top of the left Z axis motor that was here, I wrote my name and because uh, so I'll take this one off and see if my name is on top of this left Z motor. And if it is, that would be awesome because then I could just put in the other Z motor and that would be great. Um, if it's not, then something about this setup is maybe destroying Z axis motors. I don't know what that would be, how that would work, but that seems to be the case.